Alright everyone, this is Gene Michael for a new episode of uh, GM Insight Discovery and right now we are looking at little uh, baby isopod uh, that probably, maybe this one have a uh, spawn or this might just be a random one. Anyway, I introduced a couple of isopod and uh, roly-poly in my um, ball vivarium. If you want to know how I actually set up this ball vivarium, uh, there is a video uh, about it, about it, and uh, basically that pro that old project was just a random project uh, at that time. But I just fell in love uh, with it over time, and this might be actually my uh, prettiest vivarium, considering that uh, the jungle vivarium at its end state is just full of dead grass, pretty much, and the uh, dead leaf vivarium is um, not as cool as. Uh, last year so well there is more uh, over here anyway um, just have to be super gentle so I was going to put my little newt in the bold vivarium but there is actually a really big predator in this uh, vivarium and Remember, this was a locust that was uh, pretty much uh, cannibalized um, earlier, so his uh, head was all eating up. So that's the making of other locusts. But then, check out the uh, abdomen, all destroyed, literally. So there is a black beetle in there. Um, he is pretty much the king of this uh, vivarium. Oh, the the eyes of pod is freaking out all right I'm going to have to put him back in the um, bold vivarium and yeah uh, before that uh, get like nasty and everything I'm just going to throw it away um, but let me just find out if I can uh, let me just check sorry if I can uh, find the uh, little beetle hmm. Well, I don't see it, but um, I believe you've already uh, saw it in other videos. Um, basically, the bold vivarium is pretty much my favorite uh, vivarium of uh, this summer. I, I just love the way it looks. Uh, I love the simplicity it was to make it. It took me 20 minutes. Really have to be careful not to crash the uh, eyes apart. But yeah, basically, it only... Uh, I only had uh, to do, to uh, work on it for 20 minutes, and then I just leave, uh, left the nature do uh, the rest. And the moss is better than in uh, all my other vivarium, except maybe for this container where um, uh, my other moss grow. But um, the difference between this type of moss. Or pretty much the way it grows in in here, it's really do a, a great carpet compared to uh, this container, which is uh, the home of my little newt. Uh, my newt is right here, but yeah, you can see that in here, the moss tried to climb uh, compared to here, where it's all get like uh, a big carpet, really. Um, so I pretty much prefer the moss in there. Uh, I will really miss this vivarium. And my secret for that great, great um, moss is pretty much I just put so much water in there. And so I really build like a layer of rock beneath it. But this thing is really uh, heavy. Let me just switch out of hand so I can have my better hand to uh, pick it up. And this plant, really, in the jungle vivarium, it was doing horribly. The leaves were all curled up like that, but check out the new leaves. Uh, they are long, they are beautiful, they are green, they are not attacked by anything. And I'm just going to show you the root system of this plant. Check it out. It's all the way up there. Hope you can kind of see it. Uh, 
but yeah, I'm basically really proud of this uh, little project. End up to be really cool. Uh, at one point, there was some um, wolf spider, at least one of it, in there, but um, I don't know what happened to it. Um, but yeah, basically, there is a big black beetle. Well, big, only that big, but he is carnivorous and really strong and beautiful. There is a lot of them in the uh, jungle vivarium as well. Uh, but this one is really crazy. I might end up uh, adding more of them. They are pretty much like um, nocturnal and diggers, so you don't see them that often. But uh, in the vivarium, let me just check that out in there. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that um, before it contaminate the vivarium. But sometime when I flip the rocks in there or the piece of wood or something I often see some beetle just oh there is some babies um, isopod s slowly starting to grow out uh, so I've seen some slug, uh, baby slugs and baby snail in there and I didn't even introduce slug and snail in there so oh, I think that's baby melop Speed. Yep. So I don't know if it's the big guys that are reproducing or the smaller species in there, but uh, there is definitely a lot of reproduction and things going on in there. Um. Oh no, I thought that was the uh, black beetle, but yeah, no, it's just the cricket. Um. But yeah. Um. This vivarium and the bulb vivarium are really the one I will be concentrating uh, for the past, uh, sorry, for the next few uh, weeks before, uh, because the insect in there, um, I'm not super attached to them. I mean, they are just doing really, really well. Uh, I can pretty much keep this vivarium to itself for long amount of time and it's uh, sufficient. Wow. Check out the size of that millipede. Good. I'm going to measure it uh, later today. But uh, basically those big millipedes, they are eating everything. Um, remember I put the body of my dead fish in there? And a few days after afterward, uh, I actually saw the remains of the uh, dead body of the fish, and there was also a dead frog uh, around there. And as you can see, it was all clean now. And that vivarium, uh, I actually leave it uh, to itself when I go on camping and everything, and look at look at the millipede and everything. Millipedes are really easy to keep. I might actually do a video about uh, keeping millipedes. Uh, I mean, it's been like what four months since I have them, and they are doing perfectly fine. Oh, that one I think is biting me. What are you doing right now? You're trying to eat my finger. Mm -hmm. Trying to eat my finger. Ouch! Don't bite. It tickles. Oh yeah, he's definitely trying to bite my finger off. Stupid. It's like attacking my little skin right there. It won't purse the skin. I, uh, it's far from that. They have like... They kind of are scavengers and they prefer to eat uh, veg vegetation, so dead leaves and everything. Um, but when I put some dead f frogs in there or dead animals in there, like f small fish or anything, they can actually eat it too. But um, they are far from their uh, cousin, the centipede. Centipede are crazy uh, good uh, predators, and centipedes are actually really scary because they are fast. They have like a, a freaking heart. Ouch! You're biting me right now. Oh yeah, it's definitely biting. Ow! 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 Fuck. Touch. Sorry. All right. Finish. Bad boy. You have biting your master. Don't bite the hand that feed you. Uh, sorry for the 
the the curse I guess. Um but yeah. Um Millipedes are really easy to keep and don't worry, uh, even if it was right like biting and everything. Didn't even leave a mark. I think you bite me right there. I don't know. Didn't purse skin or anything. Uh, but like I was saying, centipedes are really aggressive, uh, car carnivorous, while those millipedes are really slow moving, just pretty much a gentle giant for the most part, eating like dead leaves and uh, things like that. I'm actually going to uh, put some dead leaves in there uh, and do some videos in the nature today. Uh, so stay tuned for that.